Welcome to my kitchen. Today I have asked Chef Lou Lambert from the prestigious Marriott Plaza Hotel in San Antonio to join me and make for you his fabulous and, yes, healthy barley picadillo chili rianos with San Antonio ranchero sauce. And then for dessert, listen to this. We're going to make his gingered apricot yogurt and berry parfait. This sounds so delicious, I want to eat it right now. Lou, welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so it much. It is so for great coming. to be here. You know, I forgot to mention to everybody, you're a seventh generation Texan. Yes, I am. I've that been means here. you know how to cook. I've been here my whole life. I worked in New York and California and got back here as quick as I could. Well, I know that your resume is long and very impressive, and I'm so excited that you're going to teach us that healthy eating can be delicious. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready to start? I'm because ready. Because I'm in San Antonio today, I picked some chili rellenos, and I did a traditional uh, beef picadillo, but I substituted the beef with barley. It's full of flavor, full of uh, great things to eat. And then for dessert, I'm doing a yogurt parfait with apricot awesome. and ginger. And I love and fresh to use berries. barley in a lot of healthy cooking. We put it to soups and stews. It's fiber and magnesium and all sorts of good stuff. All right, all let's right. go. So I'm starting with a poblano pepper. These are mild peppers. They're hearty. But before you use them, you need to roast them and get the skins off. It does makes them Does that help them not be so hot? No, it really doesn't no. adjust the heat content. But what it does, it just makes them a little more edible, a little okay. more digestible. Great. So what we do, you can either do it two ways. You can take the pepper and uh, roast them over an open flame. Mm -hmm. Or like we did these, we ro uh, put a little bit of oil on them, put them under a broiler until they're nice and black and charred. And so then the we can do them in our oven oh, you just can by do broiling. Yeah, if awesome. you don't have a gas grill okay. or a grass, uh, gas flame, you can mm -hmm. just do them in the oven. Okay. And then the skin, as you can see, just removes very easily. Oh, yeah. So I, we just take these, scrape all the skin off, and what you end up with are these beautiful peppers here that don't oh. have the skins. I've taken the seeds out. Okay. They're not that hot. Now, for the stuffing, like I said, we're doing a beef, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a barley picadillo. Mm -hmm. So start out with a hot saute pan, just a little bit of oil. You don't need a lot. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some onion in and get that going. Oh, I love having the onions, too. Mm. So I'm going to saute that for just a minute. Now, I've pre-cooked my barley. Okay. And the barley is a three to one ratio. That pan is hot, but you know what? That's good. That's good. I'm cooking it. So it's a three to one ratio. You can do this ahead and just mm -hmm. have it in your refrigerator. Okay. So I'm doing a small onion. I'm going to get the onions just a little bit soft. And then I'm going to add about two to three cups of the pearl of barley. barley. You know, a good way to cook these is in a rice steamer. Oh, I do that, that at home, and then I never burn it, and it comes out perfect every time. And you can just walk away from right, it. Right, exactly. I can do one thing at a time, usually. So <laughs> I have that going over here, and then while I'm doing the rest of the dinner, it all comes out at the same time. Perfect. So that's cooking. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of tomato. I'm going to add some seasoning. I'm going to use a dark roasted chili powder. Ooh. And whenever I use chili powder, I like to use a little bit of fresh cumin in that. So we're going to keep that working. Now, if that starts to stick on you, I always keep a little veg stock in the kitchen. I'm just going to put a little bit of veg stock just to moisten that. And I've got a great recipe for vegetable stock on my website, so they can get that. Oh, see, this awesome. is great. A really healthy vegetable stock in now, here. Now, traditionally mm. in a picadillo, mm, you add good. a little bit of raisins. Oh, raisins. And that's going to give it some sweetness and just another depth of flavor. And then very traditional is uh, toasted almonds. So I'm going to add just a little bit uh, of almonds in that. Lou, that looks beautiful. And that's about as easy as that picadillo is to put together. It is so simple. All right, so that is cooked through. I'm going to take that off the side a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to quickly make our ranchero sauce. Again, this is such a simple dish to do, and it's just loaded with flavor. Now, uh, right at the very end, I'm just going to throw a little bit of green onion 
and a little bit of fresh cilantro oh, in this. Cilantro is so good for you. I love to use cilantro, Lou. It's so, you know, that's actually a superfood. Did you know that? It's well, called, now explain a superfood. Oh, a superfood. I mean, it's like a class five. It's rich in, um, oh my goodness, it just goes on and on. It's got all your antioxidants. Yes. Of course it's a good fiber. And um, it's got many minerals. It's a source of calcium as well. Can you believe that? All in calcium in cilantro. But in cilantro, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, now for the ranchero sauce, very quickly, I've just uh, chopped up some onion, some poblano pepper, a little bit of garlic, okay. and uh, I put that with a little chili powder okay. and I'll roast it in the oven. That's another mm. way, instead of if you want to eliminate a lot of fat from your diet, mm -hmm. use your oven and roast it. Oh, good. You get the same nice, nice color and caramelization without having to saute. So I have taken that vegetable that just has a little bit of chili powder on it. So uh, we just put some um, oil on the pan or oil on the vegetables I put and then spread them out. Just a little bit of oil on the vegetable. All of this vegetable, okay. uh, probably not even a tablespoon of oil. What degree oven would we use? I uh, would roast these. If you're not going to burn it like I did earlier, I would put it uh, on a hot oven if you're going to watch it a broiler and you can broil okay. them. Okay. If you want to walk away from it, do about a 325 degree oven and roast okay. them slow. Good. All right, so mm, those that are in the pan. smelling so good. So you want to take this, and I have the three cups of tomato in there. Okay. A little bit of tomato paste. So you just kind of mix that around mix and let that the heat just kind of meld the flavor. And then a little bit of vegetable stock. Oh, good and a little salt and pepper and then you just want to cook this out for about 15 minutes let all the flavors melt so we are ready to assemble all right oh this, this is going to be fun Lou right. that smells so good isn't that oh, great it just is wonderful so I'm going to take our pre-roasted peppers and you just want to stuff these and you could do this filling the day ahead okay so if I was having a dinner party or an event, I could do this and just cover it in the refrigerator yes. the next, and then just bring it out and put it in the oven yes. to cook. That would be so, a good idea. I mean, idea. For, for entertaining, this is a great dish because oh, you yeah. can do it so far ahead. So you're going to take your time. You're going to stuff all your peppers. Okay. Once all your peppers are stuffed, you're going to spoon some of your ranchero sauce over the top. And then, again, this can be done ahead. And you okay. can get about six peppers in here. Wonderful. And then at that point, you're going to take, I, I love to use this uh, farm cheese, oh. which is a fresh cheese. Um, it's made out of uh, cow's milk, but it okay. just has a lot of flavor, really? and it's really crumbly. Now, where can I get that? Uh, any of your grocers has this. Okay, and it's called farm cheese? It's called uh, farm cheese, or in San Antonio, uh, queso blanco. Is it different than Jack or mozzarella in yeah, its, its flavor? In the flavor, it's a little bit lighter. Okay. I find it not as fatty. Okay. So I, I, I it's real love mild. It. it's a, a nice very mild. mild cheese. Oh, so that is done. Beautiful. And oh, you've got a finished one for us. Here mm. is a batch that we had done earlier. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. So here these are. Let me get a. There's a big spoon you can serve great. it up with. Great. Mm. Put that on the plate. That is just beautiful. So I take these. Oh, I bet Part your guests finger. in the restaurant just love this And then dish. I take a little mm. bit more of the ranchero okay. sauce, just like that. And then, pardon me, take a little bit of cilantro. There you go. Isn't that, that beautiful? And that is your mm. chili rano with piccadillo. Beautiful. And it smells so good, and it's healthy, filled with antioxidants and fiber. This is healthy cooking. And with best. the barley, you're not yeah. going to miss not eating meat no. because it has a texture and it's, it's got a lot of... Right. Uh, oh, and we're great. still getting protein. Yes. All right. Well, before I taste that, let's make dessert. What do you say? This is going to be one of my favorite desserts on the run in the summer. Uh, what I've done is taken a non-fat yogurt, and this is a great trick to do. I put the yogurt okay. in a cheesecloth or a coffee filter. So it's just like a paper filter. It's a paper, paper coffee filter. And what that does is drain out the whey oh. or the, the liquid in there. So yogurt has that much of a, yes. of a water content. It's probably no, okay. 30 to 40 percent water content. Okay. But what you're doing, I'm still using a non-fat yogurt. And then, am I still on there? Oh, that's And then uh, 
it's got the consistency of almost a whipped cream, if you will. Oh, it sure does. It's so light and fluffy. Yes. So instead of, instead of using a heavy cream mm -hmm. or whipped cream, I love to use this. Now, also what I'm putting in with this, let me grab a spoon here right here. Thank you. Is you can either use any kind of jam that you want. Mm -hmm. I use a no sugar added natural jam. This is an right. apricot ginger jam. If I couldn't find the apricot, I would um, the ginger. Mm -hmm. I would put mm -hmm. fresh ginger in it. I love using sugar, no sugar in my recipes. In fact, everyone knows out there that you don't find any table sugar in Cindy's recipes. <laughs> so I'm really glad you did. And that. I think as a chef, I think it's my responsibility to teach people that you don't need all of that you added don't. sugar and all. And we, our palates have become so accustomed to it that once you wean yourself from all the fats and sugars. You are, you don't miss it. You, you truly sure don't. don't. And then when you eat that big sugary something, you're just it do doesn't have the same appeal it doesn't. to me. It doesn't. And this is just beautiful. All right. See how easy that was. I put the the ginger apricot so we've got jam. Some yogurt, and we've got some gingered apricot jam. Now let's just say I couldn't find gingered apricot. I would just get apricot and then maybe some fresh just grated some ginger. Just some fresh grated ginger. What about the crystallized ginger? Would that work or no? Most Probably of the not. crystallized ginger, it would work, but has most of that has sugar, sugar in it. We it's don't been want crystallized that. with That's sugar. Right. All right, so that was that simple. Okay. I'm going to set this here and then let's assemble Now to one. make our parfaits. Right. Oh, this will be good. All right, so I take a little bit of your apricot cream, okay. yogurt cream, put okay. it on the bottom. Okay. And I just made this here, Cindy. Oh, that is so. Mmm, it smells so good. And then. But I like ginger. I'm going to take some fresh berries, and today we did strawberries, raspberries, and blues, blueberries. Okay. Do another layer, and then another layer of the yogurt, and then another layer of the berries, and then for the surprise... Oh, you mean there's more? I did a brittle, and I used rolled oats. Oh. And some pine nuts. Pine and nuts, I, I love And all I did nuts. was put just a little bit of honey to bind it and then just put it in the well, oven you know, for a the minute. The oats are so low in cholesterol. They're so good for you. Good yes. source of fiber, on and on. Yes. And then the pine nuts are as good as well. And they're, you know, there's a lot of iron. There's a lot of minerals in pine nuts. And, and this and has... And no sugar. And Yay. to, to instead of a cookie or something, mm -hmm. because we've been so accustomed to, to right. eating that... This gives you that little crunch that's something a little different. Oh, how beautiful. And there's your dessert. So that no, it's your not deal. your drink. It's your dessert. <laughs> well, Lou, this is just absolute. Now, this is wonderful. Now, do I get to taste it? Please what do. What do you think? Oh, I'm going to have a little bit of okay, this. Let me get this out of your way. Oh, my goodness. Please you know, this that. is just healthy cooking at its best. There is nothing better. There I is mean, so much flavor. You've so got between flavor. the barley, you've got the pepper, the cumin, the chili powder. It's not too hot. Oh, it's not. It's not hot at all. It's not. It has it's just a little bit of pepper in there, enough to wake up your taste buds. And, you know, this is healthy cooking, like we say we like to do with a lot of flavor, but yet there's no fat, really. In and how whole... simple was it? How simple. I, we can do this at home. Yes. Now, yes. I've got to have dessert. This Please. is what I've been waiting for and waiting for, except it's going to... I'm going to make a mess here, but you know Please what? Do. That's okay. I can clean it up later. Mm. <laughs> how is that? Mm. The yogurt. Mm. Now, do you I've miss? I've never had yogurt like this. But do you miss the the mouthfeel or the, miss the fat? That's non-fat yogurt. Do you miss oh, the is? sugar? That's no, the, I don't. That is non-fat yogurt. It's sweet. Yes. You get the sweetness from the berries. Yes. This is absolutely exciting. Oh, Lou, thank you, thank you so much. Finish, thank you. Thanks for joining me today. This is just wonderful. For copies of today's recipes, go to healthycookingwithcindy.com. Print these off and make them tonight. And stay tuned because we're going to be right back for more of your health.